In this video, I'm going to do a general overview of the Surefire G2Z combat light with Max Vision technology. So, anyways, this light has not really gotten all that much good attention, I guess you could say, so I'm going to try to fill that in, but this is just going to be an overview and it's going to be more of a practical one. So, I don't have the lanyard on there, but I pulled it out to show you that you do get a lanyard with it. Being that this is advertised as a combat light and it works very well as one in my initial impressions, um, I see it as basically useless. So this light is probably one of the best lights that you're going to find if you want to shoot a pistol with a handheld light and use the syringe technique, cigar technique, surefire technique, whatever you want to call it, Rogers technique. So and for shooting, uh, the shooting with a handheld light, I don't think that you can get much better than this, uh, other than you know a weapon-mounted light. But as we know. As uh, common sense would dictate, uh, typically these are going to be administrative, and uh, typically you got to identify your threat before you even engage them. So uh, there you go. You'll probably end up uh, starting out with one of these, or just going through the whole business with it. So with all that said, uh, the thing I really like about this light is obviously, as I already said, it's made for uh, basically shooting with a pistol. With this ring right here. It really does, it, it's a rubber ring that is movable, it really does make a difference. And it made it to where uh, the syringe technique was absolutely doable, where as with lights like this, like its competitor, uh, uh, Phoenix is a competitor to Surefire and Streamlight, but the Phoenix TK09, 900 lumens, this is pushing at about 800. This thing uh, is really hard to deal with, even with the neural parts. and it being metal kind of hurts the fingers and trying to force it. Also, this other one, I carried this for a while. This is almost impossible to do the syringe technique with. Uh, so, yeah, this has a nice uh, polymer body with the rubber ring. It's almost like a rubberized polymer because it actually does have kind of a grippy texture to it. So I really do appreciate that. And obviously you got a metal bezel, and you can see right here, this is where it kind of distinguishes itself, uh, the Max Vision technology at least, because what it's basically doing is it's reducing the impact area or the, the likelihood of impacting the lens is kind of set in or set back a little bit, kind of protected uh, from impact. And also you have a little bit of a strike bezel here, so it's a little smaller, uh, but it's reflecting it in such a way that you're not really getting uh, much of a hot spot. Or basically what they're doing is they're taking the hot spot and kind of the whole beam is supposed to be a hot spot, if you will. So it broadens it out and makes the whole area nice and bright. It distributes the lumens. So you're getting about 800 lumens in a package uh, that is four and three quarter inches long, which I think is almost the perfect size and the bezel is equalized in size by this uh, little ring right here. So I, I really do appreciate this. So let me go ahead and show you a video of comparing uh, this light against its competitor, the, or at least uh, one of the uh, other lights I was using, the Phoenix TK09 and the Streamlight Protac 1L. First light here is a TK09 900 lumens. Here you can see if this will focus, obviously you got a pretty bright hot spot. And it's just having trouble defining where what the hot spot is going to be, but or focusing on the house, but you can see the hot spot pretty clearly. Big hot spot, a good amount of spill. And I can have it on the bottom here and it goes all the way up pretty much to the top of my ceiling there or the top where the roof is. So pretty good amount of light out of this uh, flashlight. And then here you have the Surefire G2Z. So I'll have it at the, about the same point. And it gives about as much, um, maybe a little less as far as the overall um, area that's covered by the light. But you can see it's pretty diffused. The hotspot is not very well defined I guess you could say but if there is a you know you can see the middle here it is kind of a hot spot but it's not um, too defined and it's pretty wide 
So that's about 800 lumens according to Surefire. And then just for comparison's sake, you have the Stream Pro Streamlight Protac 1L. Not much spill, not much uh, going on there. Pretty low lumen count by today's standards. It's under, it's about under 400 lumens, but you do have a defined hotspot and some spill. So there you go. That would be your comparison. And then here's the Surefire, and then you have the Phoenix TK09, and it's setting off my lights. <laughs> so there you go. There's a comparison right there. So in that video, you can see how well it distributes that light. You still get a bit of a hot spot. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so you get a bit of a hot spot still, but it's it's faded in. It, it does a really good job of illuminating everything around. Now, when you have a spill around your your initial hotspot, it can be kind of hard to identify. So you kind of focus on the hotspot, which is not good because you want to use your peripherals. You want to have full uh, full awareness of your surroundings, and the best way to do that is be able to have good lumen distribution, and that's why I actually fell in love with this right away. I was just giving it a chance. I didn't really, there were no real good videos on this to talk about uh, how this system worked and or illustrate it, really. So I was kind of going in blind. I just thought it was a way that they uh, increased the hotspot and stuff like that, but I find myself chasing the hot spot a lot of times when I'm doing one-handed uh, shooting <clears throat> and I'm trying to focus and aim at something inside a hot spot. That can be pretty difficult if your eyes are sitting there trying to concentrate on the hot spot because the more lumens or more, well, let's just say the more illumination you have, the better you're going to register things. So you're going to go to that source of information. That source of information is going to be inside the hot spot because it's going to give you the most feedback. <clears throat> the most feedback visually that is so with all that said I really do appreciate how this how this light is uh, working for me so far it's a very practical uh, light for those of you who do carry a pistol and want a, an administrative light and, and I think this could extend to law enforcement or even you you who's who are just uh, deployed overseas so uh, with all that said, I, I think that everybody could actually benefit from this light. However, there's some people that will appreciate it more than others. But uh, with all that said, this is just my quick overview of this light. I do still need to do a performance review talking about how it performs on a certain, certain batteries and stuff like that. How it performs uh, long term, I guess you could say, from carrying it and using it in different roles. So... Um, this was just an overview, kind of introduced you to, to this light and why I appreciate it already. But we don't know what, the, what all the pros and cons are of this um, yet. Uh, at least I don't. The only con that I have for this is it doesn't take 18650s. You have to use 123s. And I am using the, one, the rechargeable 123s, the K2 Energy 123s that Surefire actually sells on their website. But... If you're interested in having these rechargeable batteries, uh, you might as well go on eBay because you'll probably find them for uh, find double the amount of batteries for the same price that Surefire is selling two of them for. So that's what the deal I got four for sixteen bucks on eBay. It took forever to get here, but I think it'll pay off for my testing. The only issue is it'll last uh, about half as long supposedly than the. Uh, the disposable one, two, threes. So with all that said, I appreciate you guys watching. Go ahead and leave a comment below if you guys have any experience with this specific light. I know that I've found so many videos on the G2X, but a, a light that has a single output, always on high, it's not something that's gonna disrupt you like this one where you're rotating through everything as you're scanning. So I think that it works pretty well uh, for what it needs to do. but. We'll save all that jazz for the performance review here in uh, you know, however long it takes me to go ahead and get really familiar with it. So thanks a lot for watching, and you guys have a good one.